I lead the tax controversy and litigation practice at Tories. I came to that practice because I find tax law very intellectually challenging. It's constantly changing. It's very dynamic. And in the, in the dispute area, uh, there's a lot of strategy involved. And I kind of like putting it all together. It's a, it's a constantly moving, constantly changing challenge. So teamwork in my context I think of it in two different ways. One way is making sure you have the right team to deliver on the client's demands. And so in the tax area, that might include a dispute specialist as well as someone who knows that area of tax very well. But it can also include members of the team from the civil litigation practice, and naturally it includes people of all levels of seniority. But I also think of teamwork as being something about the firm itself, uh, a way that thinks in the long term, uh, that makes sure it's got the right people for the right needs, and that succession planning is taking place. And making sure that when a client has a question or an issue, that work gets referred to the right people in the firm. Oh, I do find the law personally rewarding. Uh, I find that it's a, an opportunity to remain engaged intellectually. I find that although it's demanding, there's a feeling of success and achievement. At the end of the day, I find working with others, especially when everyone's delivering on their part, immensely rewarding. So uh, I've, I think that responding to challenges in the legal profession is really a two-part issue. One of them is when a client asks you to help solve a problem and you're not really sure where to start. And there it's so essential to be a member of a team where you can draw on all kinds of different experiences, all kinds of different areas to help you brainstorm and find a solution. But of course, challenges in the practice of law are more than just delivering on client demands. It has to do with making the law, practice of law work for you, making it a rewarding part of your life, uh, not just something that takes a lot of your time. So I would say there, I think that the challenge for our generation is to envision what kind of firms we want to build, what kind of teams we want to work with, and, and start doing that work. It's, it's, not about, it's not about others necessarily opening the doors for us, although they have. It's about the doors we're going to open for the next generation. So pro bono work and volunteer work are important to me within the professional sphere. Pro bono work has a particularly strong meaning for me because I'm a litigator and my very first trial was a pro bono trial. It was an organization where uh, facing a particular challenge and if it was adverse to them, they effectively didn't have enough money to continue operations. And so my firm donated the time to litigate the issue in the, in the tax court I, even though it was a tax issue, it was still a pro bono and a charitable organization. And we were able to reverse the tax authority position so, the, so that charity could continue to operate. So that was immensely personally rewarding, but it also means that I see that I need to encourage those coming up as junior lawyers to seek out those opportunities. Uh, not only does it feel very nice to be able to assist with those sorts of things, but it's the same professional skill toolkit you're building as you will need for servicing your clients in the end. And as for volunteering, uh, I, there's been a tax dispute moot for university students for about the f five past five years or so. And so I've worked on that moot every year since it started. And that's a, a really nice way to see students who otherwise would have no interest in tax, see it as something they might want to go into, particularly in the dispute phase.